Hi everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, second edition. Today I'm going to show you how to permanently delete something in Google Drive or Google Docs. And uh, it's actually a two-step process. Some people think that once you trash it, it's gone for good, but that's not quite the case, and I'll, and I'll explain how it works. So here we have Google Drive. Uh, you're in the main screen here. And let's say that there's a folder that you want to get rid of. And um, I have an example folder right now. It's called MIT Startup. I just go to the search window and find it here. So here's the folder. Now, when you highlight something in the new version of Google Drive, um, you'll see that there's some options that come up here. By clicking the trash can icon, it'll remove it. Notice it doesn't say delete it. It says removed it. So it's removed one folder. Now, you may think because it's a trash can icon, it means it's been gotten rid of. But that's not the case. It's actually kept in a special holding pen called trash. And from there, um, you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, delete it permanently. So here is my trash holding pen. You can see there's all kinds of files in here. Now, if I wanted to, I could just empty everything, delete everything. But maybe there's some things you might want to restore later on. So if you just want to get rid of that one thing, and in the, in this case, it's the folder called MIT Startup. Here's how you do it: select it and either click the delete forever button up here or just right click on it and click delete forever. You'll get a warning, are you really sure about this? And yes, delete forever. It's gone. Now, once it's gone, it's gone for good. You cannot get it back unless you've made a copy of it somewhere else. So uh, that's uh, something to keep in mind when you're uh, dealing with uh, trashed folders or files that you have in Google Drive. If you're interested in learning more about Google Drive or Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Forms, uh, Google Slides, I've written a whole book on it. It's a very easy read, lots of examples and screenshots. Go to in30minutes.com for more information. And thanks for watching.